Maybe that was that thing. Oh. No, there is something else here. Cool. Oh, mana. There we go. Great. Let's get the mana. Now we can get the jagged symbol. Symbol. Perfect. More dots. Whoa. Is there any reason to be up here? Not really. Maybe something can spawn up here. Huh. Okay. Mm, splash. For the view? It is a nice view. Yeah. What's the Apex ID and why would it go away? Um, this is a, a very limited preview right now, so not a lot of people have it. It's it's kind of common for watermarks in situations where the devs give a whole bunch of keys out with NDAs. Um, basically, if I was streaming this and I wasn't supposed to have it, the devs would be able to easily find out who gave it to me. <laughs> and they'd know who to never work with again, essentially. So I'm guessing that's why they have the watermark. I'm guessing they have some kind of code to work out that giant string of letters there and numbers into the name of my Apex ID, which you need to log into the game with, so. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, dude, is it time to go after the boss? Uh-oh. Makes me want to play outwards so bad. <laughs> hey, Drat Malone, what's up, buddy? Nice digs, dude. Tomb of Gales. How's it going, Holy Hotshot? I'm doing well, man. How are you? Are maps and enemies randomized after death? Um, I think the, the randomization is the cards, primarily. I think the world stays the same, but I don't know if the enemy camps move around and stuff. But I'm, I'm pretty sure the big randomization is, is in getting the cards, which essentially 
dictates your build, what weapons you're using, you know, all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Hi. You must stop our sister. That is what you were made to do. You shall have what remains of my power, my blessing, and once you have been granted enough of them, you shall face our sister, the betrayer, once more. And this time you shall be victorious. And slowly but surely, you find the winds returning to their former strength. I need some good voice acting for these guys. Blessing received. Okay. Uh, now, real quick, I can play up to the second boss. But I don't know if I can actually fight the second boss. I think I saw a couple people in here from, uh, from Avalanche. Do you happen to know by any chance? Doesn't say including. I don't think we can. Up to does not include. Okay, let's let's play it safe, and I guess we will not do that. Yeah, I think the wardens are the bosses. So I think we I think we just did the first boss. Yeah, I think. This is the world. The world seems relatively vast. Um, every time you start, you get to just basically fly wherever you want. And then you can land wherever you want, which is kind of cool. Definitely dig that. There seems to be a lot of biomes, a lot of camps. Yeah, the interesting thing for me that I don't know yet is like how they're gonna make the world like, what, what's going to make me want to explore and stuff? I mean, I can land and I can, you know, kill people for cards and stuff. But like, this this ruins right here is a great example. I don't see anything here to do. So, is it advantageous to land and explore it? Let's, let's find out. Let's test. So, there's nothing on the map here. I'm holding B. Yeah, another big, a big uh, plus for this game is it's only going to be 30 bucks. So if it's cool and if this world is worth exploring and, you know, leads to there being a lot to do in it, that is definitely the, the right price. Yeah, so you haven't really seen anything here. Maybe this is for a quest or something. This looks kind of unique. You can also go up. Got a grappling hook. So I'm not really seeing a lot of places to do that. Do I play Forspoken? I was not super impressed with the Forspoken demo, um, but we we were probably gonna try the release to see if it's any better. Like going in knowing the story and everything. I liked the gameplay in Forspoken, but I was very much not sold on the characters and the dialogue and stuff like that. Oh, here's something. So we'll, we we may give it a try. We'll see. I think they asked me to take a sponsored look at it again. So you know, I think I'm curious enough to do that. Clear out a camp at tier two hatred. I don't think this was on our map, was it? Hmm. Yeah, that's a big thing. I mean, you, you take a look at a game like this, and sure, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't say like the animations and stuff probably are like, you know, they're not like Horizon. It's not like triple, triple A quality. But at the same time, this game is less than half the price of First Spoken. It's kind of like, that's a... That's kind of a consideration. Um. 
Can't wait for Ko to play darker and darker again. Oh, me too, dude. Tax. We'll probably do this one. It looks like there's definitely some specific builds we'll be able to go for. Also, take the music when it picks up. like the dwarf in Game of Thrones. That's weird. I haven't heard that before. Uh, unlock one relic slot. Let's do that. Boom. Very nice. Okay. Am I slaughtering teddy bears again? I am. Yeah. Oh, some good looking bread. I'm kind of a bread guy. Mmm. Mmm. It really does look like Arya Stark. I do. I'm gorgeous. Wait, which one was Arya Stark? Is that the... No, that's not the prince. That was a... Oh. Yeah, no. I don't, I, don't really, I don't really see it. I think I look more like the princess. Um, let's see. Good here. Let's head towards the mark over here. I'm the prettiest princess. I am. I actually, I, I got more of a Brianna Tarth going thing, I think. What is this icon? Those vampires? I don't think we fought these before. Let's see what these are. Hmm. Whee! Oh my god, they're blue. Oh, look at you go! Damn! Oh, slow down, y'all. Slow down. Ow. Whew. Jeez, that was a lot different than the other ones. Oh, these guys drop fire cards. This is a different kind of card that these ones these drop. Strap of the Inspired. Focus gain increased by 30%. So you can see which kind of card they drop in the bottom left down here. Whenever you pick up a fragment, there's a different icon. So these guys are the first time we've seen the fire one. How's the combat feel? Um, it's a, uh, it, so far it's been, it's been pretty easy. I think really experienced players will have no problem with the combat system. It's a, it's a little janky. Sometimes the animations don't connect properly. Um, but the, you know, the fun factor is it's, it's pretty fun so far. Okay, I'm, I'm enjoying it. They give you a lot of options. You can, you can dodge, you can perfect dodge, you can block, you can perfect block. They seem pretty forgiving. Um, little, little floaty, but relatively responsive. I, for me, there's always like a, there's always like a, there's, there's two main levels for a combat system and that's how floaty it is and how responsive it is. And as long as both of those are high, um, it's okay. But if it's not a responsive system, then you need floatiness to be super, super low. Um, but so far this one is a little floaty, but it's also pretty responsive. So it's okay. 
It's all right. Let's do this one. There we go. Nice. Get a little critty in our build. I love critties. Big critties, small critties. I just like critties. Big critty guy. Let's see. Is that a thing over there? It is. Check that out. Can you explain what you mean by floaty? Um, floaty is when your character, a good way to think about it is when your character kind of like, it feels like they have roller blades or ice skates on. Um, like if they kind of just like quickly move between enemies. Um, the ultimate floaty system was like um, the Batman Arkham Asylum games. But it was okay because the, the Batman games were really responsive. But like, if you're five feet away from an enemy and you hit attack and your character like slides over to him and starts engaging him, like that's that's when it's, your character floats around is based, like the inertia is not really there. Yeah, that's a good way to say it. Um, but other care, and, and, and so those systems some people don't like that, but at the same time, I don't mind them at all. Again, as long as they're very responsive. You hit a button, you immediately get the action. But the problem is when you are when you have a floaty combat system and they're also not very responsive, then it just feels sluggish and it feels, it, it doesn't feel good. It just, it just doesn't feel good. So, um, and you tend to like the, if, if you don't have a super responsive system, if you're less floaty, then it feels more weighty. And some games go for that feel and it, and it can work for them. Um, but if you're floaty and also unresponsive, then it's just, it just doesn't, it feels like you're in underwater, but not weighty. It's just, you know, it's, it's a lot different than you. But this game, you know, you hit a button and it immediately does it. So, you know, it feels good in that regard. Ooh, got a crit there. What are you doing? Oh. When's this game release? Uh, I think they're currently on soon. So Chocolats is floaty into animation acceleration and responsiveness into input latency. Uh, yeah, those are all terms that you can, you can add into that discussion. Absolutely. Uh, those... Floaty and responsiveness are very top level terms for all that kind of stuff, for sure. Uh, we already have both of these, so I guess we'll take one of these and just break it down. Uh, now, I wonder if we can stack these. So can I, can I have two of these to have 40% crit rate? Seems like it could be kind of good. Let's go ahead and break it down. I wonder if there's a uh, limit to how many cards we can have. Hmm. Anna, awesome. Uh, let's get the relic slot, though. Cool. Yeah, considering you have, what, nine relic slots? There's going to be a lot of different things you can do with your character in this game. Especially considering how many cards there are. Can we see how many cards there are from here? No, not from here. We have to die. Which is fine. When's the release? Soon, TM. Is Ko getting special access to this? Yes, that's why you have the watermark on the screen. The devs were uh, were very cool and gave me a, an early look at the game. Ow, they broke through my guard. Jesus. Those guys feel a lot different than fighting the other enemies. There's an armor upgrade. Uh, wow, that adds like eight armor and increases health. We gotta get the mana for that.
Cool. So we could put the armor on and increase our crit rate. Or we could make it so every time we empower fragments, we get mana. Mm. I'm going to go with this one. What is this that we have? Oh, it's more armor. Hmm. Okay, we'll see how this works out. What is empowering? If you look in the bottom right, bottom left, excuse me, I, I know basic directions. Um, if you look in the bottom left of the screen, there's those three little things right there. When you get three of them, you empower them, and that's when you get to draw some cards. The card selections depend on what you pick up. So there's like blue shards, there's this shard right here, right there. That just means that everything in the world's gonna get harder. So, which kind of sucks, but you know, there you go. Um, so yeah, so so far we have one red draw and we have everything gets harder, which not only loses a draw, but also makes everything harder. So. What's the meta progression like? Um, you unlock cards, you unlock all sorts of stuff. You unlock weapons, armor. So see, here's two pulls right here. So we'll pick one of them up. Draw. We get a mana, which is cool. Oh, that sucked. All right, so we can take that, but we can break it down. We got a mana, so we can use this armor upgrade. Nice. Oh wow, we look different too. We got the new one. Oh, what is that? Now we have a lock on the bottom left? I don't even know what that means. Oh no, and we just, oh, when you absorb these, you also get a, Jesus. Okay. Take the mana, I guess. All right, so what's gonna happen now? Oh, good, good, great. Everything's just getting harder. Oh God, it's locked. Oh, it's locked because we we filled in one of those red things down here. So if you see, there's there's like this red bar across the bottom, right there. And we filled in one of them. So now we just have to deal with that every time we pull. So this mechanic is in. So you can't just go around and make yourself insanely strong before you fight the bosses. So it, it's, it's to keep you moving forward through the game. So if I, if I were to just go keep farming now, then I would get like... The world would become stupid difficult. Oh God, what are these? Ow. So by absorbing this, I automatically get the world gets harder thing. So if you look in the bottom left. Oh wait, there's enemies here. There. Oh Jesus, here we go. Oh, these are purple shards. These are different. You're out of very hard game. Okay. 
Yeah, these are uh, our purple ones. You're out of Very Hard Camp without using your search. So these are challenges I'm unlocking, which means that the next time we play, we'll get different cards. While below 70% health, it takes five seconds longer before gray health starts depleting. It's like a bloodborne system. Okay. Move your head to the right. Yeah, let me, uh... There you go. How's that? See, the thing about this card is it's original base damage. So, is that's that's not a relic. If we just use it, yeah, it doesn't count as a relic slot. Okay, that's kind of cool. Is that a relic? That's a relic. Okay. Do a quick test. Crit chance is 45%. Okay. And I really wish I could do the second ball. Unfortunately, that's my embargo. Um, I think I'm gonna die. Let's let's do a little bit more of the side content. Side questing, and then I'm gonna die and we're gonna check that out. Whoa. 